Welcome to Ireland 2 Minutes. These are your headlines. Greek's leading series of party has called international creditors' demands blackmail as Greek Prime Minister Alexis Tsipras and international lenders hope to reach a deal before Eurozone Finance Minister resume talks later today. Party spokesman Nikas Phyllis said that the lenders' demand to bring annihilating measures back to the table show that the blackmail against Greece is reaching a climax. If Greece does not make its $1.8 billion repayment to the IMF by the June 30th deadline, it faces default, which could result in its exit from the EU. Wikileaks founder Julian Assange has urged France to take legal action against the U.S. spying. On June 24th, Wikileaks revealed that the NSA had spied on three latest French presidents. Assange has said France should take further action than Germany did upon revelation that the NSA had spied on German Chancellor Angela Merkel by initiating a parliamentary inquiry. Demonstrations in capital Yerevan over increased electricity costs have continued for a third day. The country's president, Sir Sargisyan, has offered to meet with protesters who have instead demanded he announces the price increases will be cancelled. In the first round of protests, police dispersed thousands of demonstrators with water canyons and arrested about 200 people. In August, electricity prices are scheduled to rise by 17 to 22 percent, an increase Armenia's Russian-owned electricity company has said is necessary due to dropping currency value. North Korean state media Rundang Simyon has published photos of the country's new airport terminal in capital Pyongan. Since taking power in 2011, the country leader Kim Jong-un has promised to raise living standards in the country, although many of the young leader's projects are not accessible to average citizens and the country still suffers from human rights violation. Thanks for watching TRTworld.com Istanbul.